Find the Norton equivalent of this circuit involving a dependent source. As we do when finding the Thevenin equivalent, we start by finding the open circuit voltage between the terminals. In this case, VOC is equal to VX, so let's find it using nodal analysis. We have this current leaving the source, part of it goes down through the 60 ohm resistor, and the remainder is supplied by the voltage controlled current source. The incoming current is 30 minus Vx over 12. The current going down is Vx over 60. And the dependent source current is, of course, 2Vx. Let's clear the denominators, simplify, and solve for Vx. We get 25 over 21 volts. So this is Voc, which is our Thevenin voltage. VTH. The next step is to find the Thevenin resistance, the resistance looking into terminals A and B. Usually, we would deactivate the independent sources we have and find the equivalent resistance. But when we have dependent sources, these cannot be deactivated. So, we'll have to use another method here. We'll find the short circuit current between the two terminals. Let's analyze the circuit again. We have this current exiting the source, but wait, there is a short. So the current will bypass the first two branches and go in its entirety to the short circuit between A and B. In other words, this short circuit current is the current leaving the source, 30 over 12, which is 5 over 2 amperes. Now, we can find the Thevenin resistance by dividing the open circuit voltage by the short circuit current. This gives us 10 over 21 ohms, and with this, we can find the Thevenin equivalent of the circuit, a source of V Thevenin and a series resistance of R Thevenin. Now that we're done and there are no further calculations, we can round. We don't need the fractions anymore. And here's the thing. The Norton equivalent is only a source transformation away. Same resistance, but it's now in parallel with a current source instead of a voltage source. And the nice thing to note is that the Norton current is precisely the short circuit current we found earlier. The question wants the Norton equivalent, so we can just leave this guy. And that'll be our final answer. This is the Norton equivalent of the original circuit we started with.